Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Kucher with TeenMentalHealth.org and I'm here to talk to you about mental health, in particular about what role can schools play in the pathway to mental health care for young people. We know that most young people are in school. We also know that mental disorders begin for the first time in youth. In fact, about 70%, that's seven zero percent of all mental illnesses can be diagnosed before age 25. So it's really important to be able to identify and assist young people who are having challenges with their mental health or are having a mental disorder to be able to get the care that they need as quickly as possible and to also make sure that that care is effective care. Now schools can play many roles in this pathway, this journey to getting care. One very important role that schools can play is enhancing the mental health literacy of students and of teachers so that both students and teachers know how to obtain and maintain good mental health, how to understand mental disorders in their treatments, how to decrease stigma, and to increase help-seeking efficacy, knowing when and where to go get care and having the competencies and skills that you need to have to make sure that your care gives you the best outcomes. Another very important role that schools can play is to help identify young people who may be having a mental disorder. And here, teachers can be trained to help young people who may be having a problem so, for example, in every school there are teachers that students naturally go to if they have a problem. And in our team we call them go-to teachers. That's because people go to them. Well, if you train those teachers how to be able to differentiate a mental disorder from the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune of adolescence, then what can often happen is those young people can be supported in the school by guidance counselors and other professionals in the school setting and they can be seamlessly referred to the most appropriate health care or mental health care provider in the community. And on both those areas, the mental health literacy and the go-to teachers, we have developed very effective programs that enhance the mental health literacy of teachers and students in a very simple way and also enhance the capacity of schools to be able to identify, triage and support young people who are having mental health problems or mental disorders. The other really important role that a school can play is the school itself can be a site for the delivery of health care to young people. Not just mental health care, but health care in general. So that a student who is at a school could go to a school health clinic or a youth health center in the school and there could get advice, there could get counseling, there could even get health care from a pediatrician or family doctor. In this way, the resource sits in the school. This is particularly useful for rural schools where the young person doesn't need to go home and then go to see their health care provider. That's an additional couple of steps which is a barrier to effective access to care. It's also good for urban settings because if the student is already in the school they are much more likely to go and seek help particularly if the clinic is friendly, welcoming and staffed by very knowledgeable and positive people. So those are three very important ways that schools can link to health care providers, can give students the basic knowledge and information that they need, and can have processes in place and trained people in place to be able to identify and assist young people if they have need of mental health care, how to get that care. It doesn't cost much to do this. 
It's not rocket science. It does mean that we have to change the way we operate the system, but just a little bit. And the impact could be fantastic for young people. It really could be a way that we can increase access to effective care for the young people in our communities. Thank you very much for your interest and for listening. I'm Dr. Stan Kucher talking to you about mental health.